Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on this Thursday the 7th of January. As we come together, let us give thanks to God for the day that has been. Let us ask for God to be with us in all that we wish to do tonight. And we ask for his blessing upon us. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your glory is proclaimed in all the world. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. You gave your Christ as a light to the nations, and through the anointing of the Spirit, you established us as a royal priesthood. As you call us into your marvellous light, may our lives bear witness to your truth, and our lips never cease to proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, bow down before him, his glory proclaim. With gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and adore him, the Lord is his name. Lo, at his feet lay thy burden of carefulness, I on his heart he will bear it for thee. Comfort thy sorrows and answer thy prayerfulness, guiding thy steps as may best for thee be. Fear not to enter his course in the slenderness of the poor wealth thou wouldst reckon as thine. Truth in its beauty and love in its tenderness, these are the offerings to lay on his shrine. These, though we bring them in trembling and fearfulness, he will accept for the name that is dear. Mornings of joy give for evenings of tearfulness, trust for our tremblings and hope for our fear. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, bow down before him, his glory proclaim. With gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and adore him, the Lord is his name. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so it may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 118. I will give thanks to you, for you have become my salvation. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures for ever. Let Israel now proclaim, his mercy endures for ever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim, his mercy endures for ever. Let those who fear the Lord proclaim, his mercy endures for ever. In my constraint I called to the Lord. The Lord answered and set me free. The Lord is at my side, I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? With the Lord at my side as my saviour, I shall see the downfall of my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confidence in flesh. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confidence in princes. All the nations encompass me, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. They hem me in, they hem me in on every side, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. They swarm about me like bees, they blaze like fire among thorns, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. Surely I was thrust to the brink, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation. Joyful shouts of salvation sound from the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does mighty deeds, the right hand of the Lord raises up. The right hand of the Lord does mighty deeds. I shall not die but live, and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me surely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter and give thanks to the Lord. 
This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and have become my salvation. The stone which the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Come, O Lord, and save us, we pray. Come, Lord, send us now prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. He has given us light. Link the pilgrims with cords right to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will thank you. You are my God and I will exalt you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. I will give thanks to you, for you have become my salvation. Our Old Testament reads the continuation of the book of Bacchus, uh, chapter 1, verse 15 to chapter 2, verse 10. And you shall say, The Lord our God is in the right, but there is open shame on us today, on the people of Judah, on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and on our kings, our rulers, our priests, our prophets, and our ancestors, because we have sinned before the Lord. We have disobeyed him, and we have not heeded the voice of the Lord our God to walk in the statutes of the Lord that he set before us. From the time when the Lord brought our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until today, we have been disobedient to the Lord our God, and we have been negligent in not heeding his voice. So to this day there have clung to us the calamities and the curse that the Lord declared through his servant Moses, at the time when he brought our ancestors out of the land of Egypt to give to us a land flowing with milk and honey. We did not listen to the voice of the Lord our God in all the words of the prophets whom he sent to us, but all of us following the intent of our own wicked hearts by serving other gods and doing what is evil in the sight of the Lord our God. So the Lord carried out the threat he spoke against us, against our judges who ruled Israel, and against our kings and our rulers and the people of Israel and Judah. Before the whole heaven there have been done the likes of which he has done in Jerusalem. It accords with the threats that were written in the law of Moses. Some of us ate the flesh of their sons, and others the flesh of their daughters. He made them subject to all the kingdoms around us and to be an object of scorn and desolation among all the surrounding peoples, where the Lord has scattered them. They were brought down and were not raised up, because our nation sinned against the Lord our God, in not heeding his voice. The Lord our God is in the right, but there is open shame on us and our ancestors this very day. All those calamities with which the Lord threatened us have come upon us, yet we have not entreated the favour of the Lord by turning away each of us from the thoughts of our wicked hearts. And the Lord has kept the calamities ready, and the Lord has brought them upon us, for the Lord is just in all the works he has commanded us to do. Yet we have not disobeyed his, we have not obeyed his voice to walk in the statutes of the Lord that he has set before us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You created all things, O God and are worthy of our praise for ever. You are worthy of our praise, O God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have, been, they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for the God the saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign for you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. Our New Testament reads the continuation of the Gospel according to St Matthew, chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire labourers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the labourers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out at about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. 
So they went. When he went out again about noon and at about three o'clock he did the same. And at about five o'clock he went out and found others standing around. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard. So he said to them, you, why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to the manager, Call the labourers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired at about five o'clock came, each of them received their usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, for each of them also, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am, am I, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this the last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you, so, are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Apologies. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. God's salvation has been openly shown to all people. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy upon those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. We thank you for your kindness, for your wisdom, for your guidance. As we approach this evening, be with us and all that we do. May we honour you in all that we say and do and think. May we show your love with all whom we deal with. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask for your blessing upon all being affected by coronavirus and the lockdown. We pray for those who are struggling with the infection and the virus, for those who are shielding, those in self-isolation, those who have their work and livelihoods disrupted, those who are in isolation. We pray for all who are in hospital at this time. We pray for those who are reaching the end of their lives prematurely because of this virus. We pray for all who have died because of COVID, for their families and their friends and all who mourn them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Father, we pray for peace in this world, for an end to violence, an end to suffering. We pray for all places where there is violence and unrest. We pray for all who are suffering at the hands of intolerance, 
for those who are victims of violence and for those who are in war zones. We pray, Lord, that your love will come upon this earth, that your peace will envelop it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all Christians throughout the world. We pray particularly for the Church of England, for Justin, our Archbishop, for Stephen and Alan, our bishops, for all archdeacons, area deans, clergy and lay leaders. We pray for all who are called to ordination, for those who are seeking their vocation in whatever field it may be, and for those who are looking to do your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we ask for your strength to give us patience to endure the lockdown. We pray for all we have not been able to do, for all we have not been able to see, for those who we are longing to hug and embrace. We pray for those who have been sheltering since March last year. We give thanks for the scientists who have worked on the vaccine, for those who are now busy deploying it. We pray for all who are longing to receive it. And we look forward to the day when we can go back to some semblance of normality. Help us to endure the time when things are abnormal. Give us the patience to wait that we may come together to rejoice when we can. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those whose mental health is suffering, for those in residential care. We pray for those who are gripped by drug and alcohol addiction. We pray for Davy and his continued recovery. We pray for those who are undergoing treatment at this time. We pray particularly for Samantha and for Megan. We pray for those who are awaiting treatment and diagnosis and for those whose treatments have been delayed. We pray for those who are reaching the end of their lives. We pray for John and his wife. We pray for those who have recently lost their lives, for all who are mourning, for all who are suffering. We pray for those planning funerals at this time and those who carry the scars of loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In a moment of stillness, let us offer to God the thoughts and prayers of our innermost heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth, mercy grant that we, who know you now by faith, May at last behold your glory face to face, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me tomorrow at 9am and again at 5pm for morning and evening prayer. 
and this Sunday we will be having our services at 8 uh, and uh, 9.30 at St Mary's and 9.30 will be streamed online and at 11 at St Thomas's. Um, as I have said in my video which came out in emails earlier on today, um, please when we come to the end of the service I will be needing to lock the church early to ensure that we can maintain as much social distancing as possible. So please can I ask that when we get to the end of the service we will need to disperse fairly rapidly to reduce the risk of any contamination at this time. But obviously this is subject to constant review by myself and the PCC and uh, we may need to stop services with little or no warning but I shall keep you up to date as best I can. But until we see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good evening.